Hey, I'm Melissa Rivers, and you are watching In the Cuts. Ready to party. Tonight we'll be hitting a few award shows, hitting a concert, and attending some colorful events. I'm Amy Weber and this is In the Cuts, an art gallery fundraiser for PAWS. Bishop Don Juan throws a Hollywood bash, the ASCAP and Vision Awards, and another Ali heads to South Africa for a fight. In Southern California, it got hot at the Hollywood Bowl when Carlos Santana opened the summer season. She's my ecstasy. The legendary and our good friend, Mr. Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana! Tell us about your favorite Hollywood Bowl memory. I know you've played here many times. Oh, yes. Well, uh, let's see. 69, when Raquel Welch was in the audience. Uh, let's see. Who do we play with? We played with Janis Joplin that day. Um, they're all special, you know. Every time we come here, we, we played also here with also Matley. Um, they're all special. Uh, you know, I, I wish that the Hollywood Bowl would have, like they do in front, all the, all the people who have played, like the Beatles, the, the, the Doors, Jimi Hendrix, Marvin Gaye, you know, all the people who have played, Miles Davis, and several to see these in front because, you know, it's a live at the, Super, at the Hollywood Bowl. So uh, it's an honor to be here, especially uh, coexisting and sharing with the, with the symphony. It's, it's probably one of the biggest honors. So thank you so much. Nothing like Latin music to get your blood running, heart pounding, and feet moving. Victoria Burroughs is one of this business's premier casting directors, and she recently sponsored a fundraiser for PAWS, and her friends came out to support her. the Star Paws Foundation benefit where they're showing off some of LA's most spectacular young artists. I'm here right now with Chris Black, whose work we're looking at right behind me. Hey Chris, how's it going? Yeah, great. It's, uh, I'm a little hot right now, but everything, other than that, it's great. We decided to organize this night uh, for the animals and all the money that's brought in tonight and any proceeds from the paintings being sold uh, goes to Victoria Burroughs Rescue. How long has the foundation been around? Um, I've been doing rescue five years, but I started Star Paws in the last year. It's so great to be your Bergamo station supporting this great cause. You must be pretty psyched. Oh, I am. Look at this. It's wonderful. I know you have a ton of people there. Yes, and it's great, and it saves the animal. How did you get involved with the foundation? Uh, she's actually with it. I'm here as a guest. I want to find out more about it today. Cool. Have you adopted lots of animals so far? No, I just help Victoria whenever I can. I love what she does because uh -huh. I can never do it. I can't do it. I don't do it. I just help her and do whatever I can for her. I'm here mainly, I think, because I like dogs. Yeah, well, I'm very touched that people are supporting the animals and me in supporting, um, helping them. I just got a card from Victoria. I'm going to start uh, I'm gonna start volunteering on Sunday. And she got to me. I have a cat now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to Victoria. Do you have any animals that you've rescued? A few guys, a few ex-husbands down the road. We need fosters so bad because okay. if we get a foster, yeah. that means we can pull a dog from the pound that's going to be put to sleep. Very big animal lover. Cool. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? We have five. Oh my goodness. We have what? the mommy, the daddy, and three babies. That's so cute. I can cute. show you a picture on my own. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get involved with the um, Star Wars Foundation? Um, I met the uh, the founder of it, Victoria Burroughs. Um, 
a little over a year and a half ago, and I knew she had this organization, and I've always loved animals, and I didn't have a dog or a pet at the time, so I would go so I could get my pet fix for the week. Uh -huh. I'd come, I'd play with the dogs for a couple hours, and then, you know, they'd have to send him home. Oh, Chris, and look yeah. at his work. It's beautiful. Isn't look it? at his work. And to, he comes out on Sunday afternoons, and he sits with us and the dogs. It's amazing. We give him a little food for dog, we give him a big dog, it's like, he doesn't care, but he sits with them. Chris started volunteering for me for, with his passion for animals, and in that, I found that um, he was an artist, and he said, dabbled in the acting, and so we just all kind of banded together and said, how can we make this serve everyone? He just said, Chris's work is so wonderful, you've got to come out tonight, and I also have animals, so I support the charities. So, you know, it's, it's, a, no, it's a no brainer, it's a win win. But that's what we have to do, they can't do it by themselves, we've got to step up to the plate. Thanks, Joanna. Paws is a great charity. Read a lot of celebrity rags? Want to know who the top 30 under 30 are? Just watch. Tonight we're at a party in Beverly Hills at the Camden House where we're honoring some very special people. Absolutely. Tonight's celebration honors some of the sharpest, sexiest, and most successful 20-somethings in Hollywood. This one's perfect because I'm 20, I'll be 26 this week and we're celebrating being under 30 in Hollywood. Well, I'm really excited because 30 under 30, there's a lot of really cool people coming and I'm really excited to mingle and meet everyone, so it's going to be a lot of fun. The committee was looking for some fresh faces, people they haven't seen around town quite a bit, and I've, uh, I've started producing alongside uh, Hollywood, a producing legend. Legend Ilya Salkine and joined their company in producing a horror film, soon to be released, next couple of years, uh, called The Forest. So I think they were acknowledging my uh, my guts, if you will, my balls, if you will, if Kai can say that. Well, you know what's really cool about being under 30? We're kind of phasing out some of the older celebrities and making room for the new young ones and showing that being youthful is hip and trendy and hopefully setting good examples to young people. Hey, isn't that Dylan from Different Strokes? Directing a movie? Hey! Oh my You're supposed to be Wolves' best friend! I was supposed to be in trouble. Hey! He's your boy! Can you tell us about that movie you're directing? A Taste of Us is about food? Yeah, romantic comedy. I hear Sam Sarpong's in this too. Sam's a friend of ours. Yeah, right on. Tell us a little bit about it. Sam plays Malik. He's the buddy of Deezer D, who's on ER. Uh, it's an urban romantic comedy on the inspirational line, so uh, a lot of doors are op open in that genre, and we're just excited to have an all-star cast. I'm so excited to meet my fans that have kept me in this competition this long. I have millions of fans that I get to see all summer, and um, I have a lot of stuff up my sleeve. I've been writing music since I was nine years old, and I think that uh, I think they're ready to start hearing some stuff. So apparently, this is how parties in Hollywood end. 